So I cleaned up my folder list considerably in that and now I have not very many folders, right? Now, aside from these folders, or maybe even instead of some of these folders, I can use something called search folders. And if I look way at the bottom of my folder list, you'll see it says search folders. So before I click on it, I'm just gonna tell you what we're going to do. So there are some predefined search folders available for us to just utilize, and, and that will be that. And with those predefined search folders, we can customize them a little bit further. And we can also create our own custom search folder. So for instance, in my clients folder, I have a lot of evaluations, like customer evaluations after the training, they send me their eval, and I keep that all in there. If I wanna just see the evaluations, just only those things, nothing else from the client folder, rather than making a category or making a subfolder for evaluations, I can just have a search folder that looks for the word evaluation. And then that'll find all those emails together for me. So that's gonna be one example I'm gonna do for you is based on text in the email. Another example is based on a sender's name. So let's say I have information from Joanne in my inbox. I have some stuff from her in my clients folder or my computer folder or various places. But I just wanna find all the stuff from Joanne. She works with me on many different projects. Let me just find all of that stuff together. And so I could have a search folder for the name Joanne and it'll pull the emails from all the different folders. Now, before we go ahead and create new search folders, let's see if you have any search folders existing already. So there is a little arrow to the left of the search folders option. Click on that and it'll show you if there's anything underneath it. So I have one search folder that has emails that are larger than a certain size. If I click on it, uh, I actually have, I don't have any right now in this email mailbox, uh, but in my other one, I certainly do. So I would use this there. So this is kind of a cool one to do. This is one of those templated ones, but we're gonna create much more than this. So let's right click on where it says search folders and choose new search folder. And now let's take a moment just to kind of read through this list. What you have is it just divides up your search folder options based on kind of the action. So are you looking for the emails that you've read or haven't read? Are you looking for mail from people? Are you looking for ways of organizing your mail and you want to search based on that? Or do you have a completely different idea on how you want to search for stuff? So the other thing to think about is how many times do you use the search bar at the top of Outlook. If you're always searching for email sent from a certain person or to a certain person, or you're always searching for a certain topic, that's what this can be used for. Rather than searching in here, you can just have it always dynamically giving you that answer. So you would just go down here and click on the answer. Okay, so I'm going to create that, that search folder for Joanne. So I'm gonna to go to mail from specific people. And now I have to give it the criteria for who the people are. So it could be more than one email address that I'm picking from. I'm gonna pick one, but uh, that just know that that's your option. So I'm gonna to go to choose and notice at the top here, it says address book. I'm looking in my contacts because I know that's where I have Joanne's name saved. If you're using a global address list and that's the person that you're looking for as someone within your organization, then change this from the drop down to say global address list, okay? And if there's a person that you want to have a search folder for that isn't in any of your lists as a saved contact or in your organization, then you can just type in the email in the from box below here. So I'm on Joanne's name. I can just click on the from button here and it puts Joanne's name in there. That That's my criteria. If I had another person that I wanted to add, I can certainly click on them and choose from again or go to a different address book or um, the actual the global address list or something like that. If I wanted to type somebody in, I would have to go semicolon and then put in the email address of that person. So I'm done here. I'm gonna choose on okay and I'm done everything in here. So I'm gonna click on okay again. So look at that. It's bringing in all the emails from Joanne and notice that there is a column here saying in folder. So you can see that it's not all coming from the inbox. I only have one email from Joanne in my inbox. The rest of them are from other folders. So isn't that cool to have it 
automatically find that. And of course, you could have done the same thing with the search bar here. But if I'm always looking for information from that person, why do I wanna keep typing in their name up here? I can have a saved search down here. This takes up no extra space. Okay, no extra space. Now, if you have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of emails in your inbox, just know that the first time you do this, you might be waiting for it to crunch through all your emails to find that criteria. So you have to be patient. Um, but once it's working, like once I have it and I've got the list of the people uh, or the emails coming up for that person, then if I get new emails from that person, it's not gonna take you know, minutes for it to give it to me. It's going to show me that information immediately. So once that search folder is created, um, it's available to you to use all the time. Okay. Let's make another one. Right click, new search folder. This time I'm gonna do it based on a word. So if I, if you have any emails where you know there's a certain word in the subject line or even in the body of the email, you can ask it to search for that, those emails that have that word on it. If you get reports sent to you, I, I get evaluations or testimonials sent to me. I have some samples of those in here. So I'll just show you, I just got a few samples. Um, so I'm gonna to go to organizing mail here and mail with specific words is what I wanna choose. And then I'm gonna to go to the choose button here and I'm gonna type in the word evaluation. And then, you know what? I'm gonna put testimonial in there in case there's any emails that I've received that have that word somewhere in it. And then, then I can see them both together. Okay, evaluation or testimonial, choose okay, and then okay again. All right, so look at that. It's giving me a number of emails that have the word evaluation in the subject, and there's some that have the word testimonial showing as well. So it's giving me quite a bit of information really quickly here. And I can just have this search on all the time. So every time that comes in, it's always updating the search folder. I don't have to go looking for these things separately or do a search manually myself. So the search folders are available to me all the time. Now this example here containing evaluation, that, so that name is kind of long there. I, I might want to rename that. So if I right click on it, I can go to properties and from properties, I can just get rid of the, rid of the word containing and just change it there and hit apply. Now, another edit I'm gonna to mention to you because I know someone asked me about this one time uh, was that if it's searching, it is searching everywhere in your, everywhere in your mailbox, which really includes your deleted, deleted items and your junk mail. So any folder that's in your mailbox right now, inbox, all the subfolders, it's searching all of those. And um, hopefully you keep your deleted items empty, but I'm not sure. This person that I was talking to did not. She had a lot of stuff in there and she didn't want those items coming up in her search. So to uh, work with that, we had to modify the search criteria. So I'm just gonna show you where that is. So if you didn't want to include a particular folder or your deleted items, this is how you're gonna go about it. So we're gonna right click on that search folder and we're gonna say customize this search folder. And then uh, we're gonna change where it says uh, mail from these folders will be included. Uh, by the way, I could have changed the name of my, my uh, search folder up he in here as well. I just did it a different way. So we need to go to browse here beside the mailbox name. And then it's showing you all the folders. So right now it's searching really in all my folders because it says include search subfolders. See that at the bottom there? So if I turn that off, then I'd have to tell it where to search. I'd have to say, okay, search there and there and there and there. So turn off subfolders and then it, then it won't have deleted items included. Do you wanna include sent items though? Um, based on what you're sending out. So this is how you would customize it further. I'm gonna clear all that. I do wanna include subfolders, so I'll just leave mine the way it was. And actually I just cancel, so I don't wanna change anything. Okay, so you do you can customize this quite a bit as well. So this can be a very useful tool for you. I'm just going to go back in there one more time. New search folder, and and you know if you if you do use flags a lot and you and maybe you have them in all kinds of folders, this might be a great way for you to clean up your flags or look at them a little bit more closely uh, by just doing a search folder that says flagged emails, and it finds all the flagged emails in all your folders, even your deleted. Um, as well so then you can clean that up a bit I'm gonna go down to yeah down here so there is a place here where it says large mail 
I recommend for people that have really large inboxes and they have lots of email that they're keeping and maybe they're finding that their outlook is being a bit slow, that they do a search folder for large email. And then I would change the number from 100 KB to 1000. That's like what I have over here. So you would just choose that by typing that in there. And then it will search your mailbox for the largest emails. And maybe when you do that, you can look at what's coming up for you and decide, can I move this somewhere else? Like, why am I keeping this PowerPoint that is, you know, seven megs in my inbox um, or in my folders? Why don't I put it where it really belongs? So maybe it belongs in a team or in my OneNote or it belongs in another folder somewhere else on my computer. It doesn't belong in your email. So maybe get rid of some of those things out of your email and put them where they belong. Okay, consider that. Okay, so build some search folders uh, or catch yourself as you're doing searches to see whether that would be better served in a search folder, All right?